Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk about how to create a banner in PowerPoint. Most of people doesn't have Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, so they have Office. They don't know how to create a banner. They they think that they need an extra program or they need Adobe, but they can create them in PowerPoint. So I'm just gonna show you how to create them in a very easy and smooth way. First, I have PowerPoint file, it's empty. As you see, nothing in it. Usually PowerPoint opens in 16 to nine aspect ratio, which is kind of very big for an email banner. And so you want to reduce the size of your slide. You need to go to design and inside design, you need to go to slide size. And then you need to press on custom slide size. And here you have the slide size. Um, it's in centimeters and usually you have just pixel values. So I don't know what's the right value for my banner. If you are going to type in this area centimeters, it's going to accept it. And you can also write pixel values and it's going to accept it as well. For example, most of my banners that I create for my emails are 800 pixels. So if I'm going to type 800 pixels, it's going to make eight centimeters. It's going to recalculate and make them centimeters. And, but usually when you export them, they are going to be very pixelated. So they're not going to be in a good quality. So what I prefer always um, is to double or to write, to triple the value. For example, if I have an 800 pixel wide banner, I'm going to make it triple three. So in this case, it's gonna be 2,400. I'm gonna type 2,400 pixels and I'm gonna leave it. So you see it turned now to 25.4 centimeters. And now let's go to the height. The like preferable height of the banner is between 200 to 300 pixels. So I'm going to go in the middle and I'm going to use um, 250 and 250 times three is going to be 750. And so I'm going to type, it's going to ask me to maximize or ensure. Um, I'm going to go, it doesn't matter because I am going to delete them all. I think I made a mistake with uh, um, slide size because I haven't typed uh, 750 pixels, so it's now 750 centimeters. So I'm going to go back. And again, we are going to go to design slide size, custom slide size. And the same, I'm going to type 204, sorry, 2400 pixels. This is the first one and the second one, I'm going to type 750 pixels. Okay. And doesn't matter. I'm going to go with maximize. And this is now the size of my banner. Let us now add an image as a background to the, as a background to my banner. Usually you would go um, to the internet and search for some imagery that fit the purpose of your banner. For example, you have um, like an event about energy, about anything, and then you would go and search for some image. There are a lot of free resources. For example, we have pixels. All of the content of pixels are reality free, so you can download them and use them. Even for commercial use, it's not a problem. They have a free license that covers most of your use cases. And there is another one, which is Unsplash. You can search for images there. And let's just search for anything. Maybe a wallpaper. And we can filter. We can, I need the landscape orientation. So I can download this image, for example, then I'm going to drag it to my 
PowerPoint file. It's now in the middle. Let us crop it to make it fit. And now we, we crop the image to fit the size of the slide or the banner. Then we can go to fill. And as you see now, it uh, it's covering the whole background. Now we need to add um, text. So we need to go to uh, insert. And then we need to insert shape text and add Um, and add some text, maybe welcome to our newsletter. So this is the text we can I use for newsletters Arial because it's a save system font. I'm going to and I'm going to make it bold. I think white looks better. So I'm just going to make it bigger. Maybe a little smaller. And then we need to insert maybe a logo. Um, let me just find an icon and use it as a logo just to show you. Let's use this one as a logo, it doesn't matter. I'm going to change the color of it because I think white is going to look much better. Now we designed this nice and good looking banner. So we need now to export it. So I'm going to I'm going to save it first somewhere somewhere on my laptop. So let me go to save. And let me just give it a name. Banner tutorial. And then save. I think I forgot where I saved it. Anyway, let's now save a copy. Uh, I saved to my OneDrive and we need now to save it as an image and to use it inside our Outlook or our newsletter. So now we have here this list and I'm going to use a JPEG format, GPG format, and then let's um maybe search for folder i'm gonna use documents and i'm gonna save it there as just this slide and let us check it to see if it worked And now we have it here. It worked fine. I'm just going to show you the size of it because it's not calculating it uh, always as we want. So this is the size of it. It's 960 times 300. 
and so which is weird because we typed 2400 pixels and now it's 960 and we typed in the height 750 and now it's 300 so it's not the exact side but it's fine and the quality of the banner is okay and that's it so we can just go now to outlook create an email and use it there that was it i think for creating a banner using powerpoint and exporting it if you have any question please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in coming tutorials